Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. I almost said Odyssey. <laughs> right. Uh, it's time to continue questing around in Dothering. Because we still need to deal with the Chanter's board. So we need to kill the infected bears and find the orphan's mother. And... This is quite spoiler alert. It says Star has corpse. I wonder what's. Why are you here? What do you mean? Women are priests, or merchants, or artisans, or farmers. None of those have any place fighting. I have no idea how to answer this. It is not done. There is no more to it. Do you mean your people have no female mages or warriors? Of course not. Why would our women wish to be men? What are you talking about? They don't wish to be men. They shouldn't. That can only lead to frustration. Stan! No, never mind. Let's drop this. Oof. Imagine this dialogue in the current here. Oh, shit. Ooh. Right. Stan. The stunt is not really working well. I don't know how to fix this for you. Maybe like this. Okay, Stan. Is that an alpha wolf? Holy moly, that's a, that's a lot of wolves. Okay. Sounds like a barf. Oh, you don't have anything activated. Take him off. Alistair, you can try to finish that wolf. And I will help as well. This region here. Are you a fat Okay, Alistair now has the stamina, but stuff is still pulled on. That is fine. Good to go! Okay. Ah. Watch out! Try not to look too incompetent. 
It's embarrassing. Imaging taunting wolves. Hey, we got back the potion. That was a nice experience for him. We're almost level 7. Let's quick save just in case. Uh huh. Oh, so you were killed by these wolves. Rest in peace. Let there be bears. Okay. Oh, that was a level up. I was like, what? What happened? Use a skill. You're good. Wait, we don't... Oh, we don't share the experience? Hey, oh, That's not fun. You have just qualified for special. Uh, that word, special. Oh, I'm not even gonna bother saying that word. Spetz. Right. First of all, let's put two points into magic and one point into willpower. Next time, we can put this one up to 36 and this one to 20. Now. I can select one of these. Well, basically this is like a sub subclass. But we actually need to unlock these. So I'm not yeah, I am unable to learn these yet. We can be a shapeshifter. I'm pretty sure this one is coming from Morrigan. I need to talk to her. Spirit healer. Arcane warrior. And blood mage. Yeah, so we cannot pick these yet. Alright. What should we get? I mean, might as well get this. That is great. It's an AoE, mana, or stamina region. Do I have new tactics? good hold up that's it we can go back I don't think we can fast travel in this game probably not yes you're using threaten there's no reason for that Go follow, that's fine. You guys don't like me, huh? I should focus. I on. go.
Hello. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. And Andraste came unto them, saying, Though the danger great... Yeah, this is the DLC. Now we need to keep moving forward, basically. The mountain high have faith, for the maker that. listens and smiles upon us. You can take... One cunning and two strength. And you are already a Templar. Right? Well... Shield bonds. What's this one? Oh, so if I take this, I can also. I need to learn this, right? Or I can start taking these. The knife's buff. I can take this. Right, Liliana and Stan, you are a little bit far behind. Oh, hell no. <laughs> they are already level 7, never mind. She's a bard? And he doesn't have one yet. Interesting, so we can pick anything for him. And I don't have one either. Right, um... Everyone is level 7. Vashadan! Indeed. Let's get back Morrigan. Hi. It's been a while. You are already a shapeshifter, right? Yes. Can we talk? What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Can you teach others to become shapeshifters? Uh, we actually talked about this before. Bye. Others, do you mean yourself? Possibly. Then I shall teach you what I can whenever we are in camp, provided you have the will to even make the attempt, that is. That's it. Yeah, now I can just take it. Just quick save because I don't know if I selected it automatically, take it or not. Yeah, I guess I need to click on next. Yeah, so it gives me brown bonus armor and more constitution. That's nice. 
I think Spirit Healer is nice. Also Arcane Warrior. We'll see about those. Right. Let's double check the Chantry and the Tavern and I think we can leave. Because I'm not sure what else we can do. So we don't have quests. Greetings, Grey Warden. What can I do for you? Nothing. Travel safely, and may the Maker. Mm -hmm. There'll just be more bandits as soon as you leave. May the light of the Maker guide your path. May. Mm -hmm. Did I not tell you to leave? Get out before I have the Templars remove you. All right. Do. And may the Maker teach you the error of your ways. Shut up. I just let out a mass murderer. Okay, Mr. Merchant. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right. Don't tell me what to do. Let's see. Longsword tier three. Oh, look. A new weapon for you, Alistair. That's fine. Liliana, you're still using... Oh yeah, this one, the Armisu, and one Enchanted Dagger. That's completely fine, and you have also a Longbow. Tier 1, that's horrible. Is this the same? That's a Longbow. Boy. Swap that out. Morrigan. <laughs> Morrigan is <laughs> doing full DPS. It's fine as well. Alright, I guess we can move on. So, I take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see go. any others about who have failed at their religious instruction? I didn't fail, I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric and run through the streets of Denham in my small clothes, I guess. Your self-awareness does you credit. I thought you'd like that. Did you guys miss Morrigan? I did. Where do I even need to go? Wait, let's check the tavern. Just in case. Should Hi. Go out.
maybe someone heard about any new rumors. Those all still don't have food to sell. Yeah, but you got stuff. Hi. What can I get you then? Have you heard any rumors? It said the North Road Inn serves a shepherd's pie containing actual shepherds. Seems the innkeeper has something against the flocks being brought too near his own fields. Anything else I can get you? Heard any other rumors? I'm hearing many tales of corpses clawing out of their graves all over. Not just people either, animals too. Just yesterday, a farmer told me about the kitten his daughter had buried behind his barn. Little thing came back to life and crawled up, mewling as loud as you please. His daughter was delighted, at least until it just about chewed her finger off. Strange days, I tell you. Anything else I can get you? I heard a strange rumor the other day. King Caelan was not really Merrick's son, you see. Merrick's real son is hidden in the bowels of Denerim's palace and has been since he was born. I suppose they feed him cakes all day to keep him content. Maybe he's simple. Or a mage. Merrick's real son, a mage. Can you imagine? Anything else I can get you? With a defeat at Ostagar, it'll be inevitable that the Darkspawn hordes start moving north soon. They have no one standing in their way, do they? Anything else I can get you? Well, Ostagar is south from here, so... I don't know what to tell you. <gasps> Nothing yes. I can think of at the moment. We completely... <laughs> we have finally completed this main quest. <laughs> Nothing to tell so, me. Terran Loghain is the new regent. Isn't that a good thing? The carnage we left we in the wild the was horrifying. Wild, we never had a so, where can we leave? It's where we run into the fight, right? Anyone else trying to attack us? Is anyone fool enough to try to attack us? We'll see. In the next episode. No, I'm just joking. Hi. As you desire. Oh, I didn't loot that. Right. I guess. We must gather our party to venture forth. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Bad dreams, huh? Uh, it seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Why didn't Duncan just tell everyone that? He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. 
Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. You could have told me earlier. I know, I've just been so distracted with the, you know, massacre of all my friends and the war and all that. Sorry. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Alistair disapproves. Really? Hello, Liliana. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. You were a traveling minstrel. Do you have tales to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. There was another story I wanted to hear. Which one? Do you know anything about the Dalish? I have heard a little about how the Elves gained their freedom from the Tevinter Imperium. When Andraste began her exalted march against the Imperium, the Elves joined her cause to fight their masters. The great Elven leader, Shatan, born in captivity, rose up to lead his people. He foresaw a future where the Elves were free. Shatan was killed when Andraste was betrayed, but the Elves continued to fight eventually breaking free of the Imperium. The Elves claimed the Dales in the south and settled there in a land of their own. It didn't last. The Elves lived in the Dales for centuries. They resurrected the worship of the Elven gods and would allow the building of no Chantry. This angered the Chantry, and the hostility between the two factions finally broke out in open war. The Chantry says the Elves struck first, but I do not know whether to believe it. The Chantry declared a wholly exalted march against the Elves, named for Andraste's similar march against the Winter. During the exalted march of the Dales, the Elven cities were sacked and the Elven state completely dissolved. Some of the Elves bitterly accepted their fates and surrendered to human rule, living in the human cities as second-class citizens. But others, still fiercely proud of their heritage, refused to bow to the humans, and instead became homeless wanderers. They were the Elves of the Dales, the Dalish. Let's just move on. Hello, Stan. Yes. I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. That's enough for now. <laughs> then I suggest we move on. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Very well. Very interesting. As you wish. I will ignore you for now. Hello, Morrigan. What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask, uh, ask you something. Yeah, if yeah. you must. Can you teach others to become a shapeshifter? Shapeshifter? Shape changer? By others? Do you mean yourself? Do you see any other mages about? Then I shall teach you what I can whenever we are in camp, provided you yeah, have I heard the will before. to even... She also disapproves. Right. Do I have gifts? I really like this. This should be also a thing. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but this should be a thing in Baldur's Gate 3. You can select everyone in your camp. Where's more again? Well, ah, the dog loves me. Ah, 
It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service, once again. Now, before you say anything, I do recall that your business is private. But I saw your camp and couldn't help but stop. Is there anywhere safer to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? You are free to stay, just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Huh. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. <laughs> I want some enchanting done. Enchantment! Alright. So... Oathkeeper is equipped by Alistair. I can just put... Novice Frost Rune on it. Great. Darmisu is equipped on Liliana. So we will grant some electricity damage on it. Nice. Was the request? Okay. Hold on. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. So, what's your story exactly? Well, if you're really interested, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there too, merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. Mm -hmm. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Go on. So, as I said, things were going well. But good things must come to an end. One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. And did you steal them? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tigs. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. It's okay, I'm also <laughs> looting corpses. Better to do something with them than leave them to rot. That's exactly how I see it. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. And now here you are. Yes, here I am. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? But where do these goods come from? Not from... Not the deep roads? Yeah. 
Look, we... Oh, no, what was that question? We don't rob people, all right? We don't take things from people that need them. The things in the law's tags, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar, where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. What do you mean? People flee from the Blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the Horde descends and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. Everyone has to make a living somehow. That's what I tell myself too. Ah, these are dark times indeed. Dark times, my friend. You didn't mention your son in your tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerim, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal here. I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think. And he was never quite right in the head. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. He may not be my blood, true. But I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. So you got a free helper. <laughs> Better than him living in mud and hiding from Darkspawn and Deepstalkers, isn't it? I was glad to take him in. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boys are natural working with enchantments. He might have even been Lyria Maddled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. Have you heard any rumors? I don't know what to tell you. Nothing I can think of at the moment. Ah, oh, thank the maker. <laughs> Enchantment? I'd like to see what other goods you have. Oh, certainly. I can do that for you. Just come with me. Alright. So we do have a merchant in our camp. That's always great. And we don't have money for that. Sylvan's Mercy. That is a great staff. Oh look, that's the rest of the Blood Dragon set. Some good stuff here. Damn. Why do you sell stuff for free? Unless these are from the DLC. Well, ugly boots. It's free. At least they're low. He also sells stuff for... Oh, this is... I'm pretty sure this is like a... There was like a festive uh, DLC. Probably keeps these gifts. That's cool, because I can then... 
boost the approval of her companions. Nice. It's lesser, but it's cheap. Same goes for this. Oh, if we get enough money, then we can buy these too. There's also Ranger and Templar here. Right. Big save. Let's see. Protective cone. Why would I give you that? A stick. Protective cone. Ah. <laughs> I can throw the stick. Okay, Alistair. A Grey Warden hand puppet. I could get used to this, you know. Holy! Okay. Why can I give her the ugly boots? That's lovely, I suppose. Yeah. No, that won't work. You accepted the ugly boots, but not that one? Oh boy. How about a fat loot? I... That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Why is she hostile? Why, thank you so much. Don't leave me. Do you like this? Unwise. Uh huh. I am impressed. My thanks. Do you expect me to carry this for you? Um, sorry. Morrigan? And you give this to me, why? I don't know. Is this your stat boost? A terrible notion. Sorry. Alistair Dole? I am grateful. Tis thoughtful indeed. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, did you unlock something? That almost almost felt like cheating, but at least we balanced it out because we gave them both. <laughs> All right. Uh what? Oh, this actually became an item. Well, sure. Low morale, rainbow power, attracts butterflies. Uh, 
Um, well, the productive cone is actually better. I can use the ugly boots on the Leona. <laughs> oh my god. What does low morale mean? Why would you do this game? All right, enough messing around. Wow, Stan, you look amazing. Eliana? Yes. Ah, uh, never mind. Alistair? Something on your mind? Nope. Did I get a quest or something? Stan? Yes. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Never mind. Very well. Speak then. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. <gasps> Dog. Hi. Oh, why you little? What, what? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. He has a protective cone. It was just a warning. He could have taken a hand off. Don't you think I don't know it? Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Stop messing with the dog, Alistair. Don't listen to Alistair. He's full of rubbish. Hey! <laughs> Can this move away, please? Oh, look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. Why doesn't he share his food with me? You are welcome to this if you really want it. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. It was a gift. You can't... <laughs> you can't just throw away it like that. I just did. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative. I can tell. I do it too. <laughs> Is there any more scenes? Yeah. Uh, otherwise. <laughs> Never mind. I will use this. I'm just going to watch them. You are a true warrior and worthy of respect. Trying to find a way through the earth, are we? All right, have fun then. Okay. Hello. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. 
Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? You know Duncan? Oh, yes, for years. Considered him a friend, I did. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. How did you know Duncan? It's a bit of a tale, that is. But I'm the one who brought the Grey Wardens back to Ferelden. Well, I was one of the ones. There were a lot of us. Maker's breath, I'm a bit nervous. Honoured to be here, really. What promise did Duncan make to you? My family... Well, past a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. That's a bit drastic, isn't it? And then some. Not much is known about that time. After King Arland died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. So what favour did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base Soldier's Peak, we want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. I've never even heard of Soldier's Peak. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Why didn't Duncan help you? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden, and Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar, said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. How will reclaiming the peak help the wardens? Soldiers' peak a strategic and symbolic importance, Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. Your family's fate will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Right, that's a new quest. Soldiers speak. Oh, so that's a DLC one. Such as the uh, this one too. I mean, it's premium content, not the DLC. It's not the same. I also prefer prefer when they call stuff uh, expansion instead of DLC. DLC is usually something that you just need to buy. Well, no, that was stupid. You need to buy expansions as well. I mean, they're the same. I just remember back in the old days when expansions were actually good stuff. Uh, let me just halt that a little bit. Yep, we are getting close to one hour mark, so let's just chat with Warkspawn again. Hi. Pet the dog. <laughs> Alright. This is where I will stop now. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Beautiful. <laughs> Poor stuff.